Okay, time to start installing the new engine, which is there. Um, I've painted this base plate here, um, top coat, a bit in there, I can touch all that up later. And then I've actually top coated the rest of these spots which I primed before. I've got it sitting on a milk crate at the moment, just so I can reach under it, get the bolts on if I need. Um, I have it chocked out the back and the park brake on. So, got to remove this, I've just tied that. Um, that's just to hold up the pulley. So I'll let, let the pulley drop down and rest where it wants. Um, lift the engine on, there might be instructions in the box. Lift the engine on and then start putting the bolts through and trying to work this out. So, let's do that. So that's what the engine looks like. In the packet, exhaust out the side. Um, all the components, pretty clean. It's, it's mounted up just so the shaft can sit below. Um, really, just should be a matter of sitting it on, getting the bolts in, um, installing the pulleys, which I actually lost one of the bits. It's like a, a key. Um, I don't know if you can see that. On that pulley, there's a notch, and on this the, um, the drive shaft here, there's a notch, and they marry up, and then you put a pin in between it. It's called a key and that locks it in place and doesn't let it one thing move without the other. So I've got to go, try find that if I've got it there somewhere. Um, and then somehow line up these bolt holes. Hopefully I can get my hand on, under there. Um, but that's it, pretty much just a matter of chucking it on and fitting the bolts. And um, I can do the pulley later I think. It's got the keyhole there. Um, I'll see how it go, I'll try to get the engine on. So there's the engine sitting on the frame. Doesn't look too bad. I've roughly lined up the bolt holes from the top, but um, I'll have to poke the, the bolts up, make sure they all line up properly. So a couple of things, it doesn't supply um, mounting bolts, so you gotta take those from the old engine. And then this, which um, connects into the drive shaft there and um, holds all the pulleys together. And then you'll also need that key, which I've lost, so could be in this mess here. I've got to search for it again. What happened when I was taking the old engine out, I actually tapped it and it shot straight out because I wasn't sure what it was exactly. But um, I'll find it somewhere. So now I'm just gonna check, make sure the pulleys fit on, onto the shaft. Um, and if all that's good, I can put the bolts in. So after looking for a while, I found the key. I was getting worried because trying to buy one of those is probably going to be a nightmare, especially locally. So that's what it looks like. That slots up into the, the drive shaft and then into the pulley as well and that makes sure they spin together as one. Oh, thank God. So yep, there's the engine. Once I get this hooked up, I'll have to go get a battery. Um, and I also don't have a fuel supply. Maybe a fuel tap or something I need to buy. But um, then I should be able to crank it over, attach the pulleys, and should be good to go. Okay, so that's how that little key sits. You can see it up there. Um, joins the pulley, which is the top part, to the shaft, which is here. Then that bottom bit is left over for this um, driveline pulley. So yeah, that's how that works. Okay, I've just strapped the engine down. The bolts aren't in fully yet. I only strap it down because I want to lean it on, on its edge just so I can work from underneath, tighten up the engine bolts and then connect all the pulleys. So um, yeah, it's going to lay it on its side and then hopefully that doesn't break or anything. So there we are, it's on its side, wasn't that graceful but I got it eventually. Now I can tighten up these 
these engine bolts as tight as possible. That strap did work. Um, you can see there's a gap there, so that will pull in once to tighten it. So there we are, all the bolts are installed. There's two up the top, two down the bottom. One's behind that mounting plate there. So you just have to undo it on one end, move it. Um, so now I've got to seat that key properly and then um, install this, this drive line pulley. So I'll do that. Okay, so a bit of an update. Um, went and bought a battery, got it connected. Think I may have figured out the wiring diagram. I'll let you know if I have. Um, connected the throttle cable and now I just got to install a fuel tap grommet and fuel tap on the fuel tank, hook it up with an inline filter and um, connect the wires and see if I can start it. Let's hope that works. Okay, so I connected the fuel tank, throttle's connected, all the wires which I think are correct are connected, so I'm going to try to start it. Okay, so it's not working. I'll have to try to figure something out. Something's wrong somewhere. So let's get this sorted. Okay, that's all I can do tonight. Um, figured out the first reason why it wasn't cranking over is because this pedal needs to be completely down and then you can turn the key and ignition and then it will start. Um, it looks like I've got fuel supply so there's actually fuel coming in from the um, through the filter and then you can smell it through the air box where the carby is. Um, check the spark plug but it wasn't sparking so that that shows me that out of these um, see the red wire was for the fuel so we've got fuel but the white wire here was for the engine cutoff kill switch which I'm guessing cuts off the um, the spark plug so I need to sort out that wire and then um, we should get it running. So tomorrow I've got to pick up some more fuses. Um, these 15 amp ones kind of went through them all. Um, yeah, and that's it for today. So next episode, this thing should be started. Fingers crossed. Okay, see you later.